In this video, you're gonna learn exactly how to calculate and show the current week of the year directly inside your own bubble app. Now, although this feature is relatively straightforward to create, it's the perfect addition for any tools like project management software, or even if you're building an application that requires a calendar. Look, I'm gonna hand this one over to Luca and he's gonna explain everything you need to know in as much detail as possible. Hey there, Luca here. This is a really quick video on how to calculate what the current week is as a number um, and show that in your bubble application. Now, this might be really useful for, say, in a dashboard for a certain week's worth of activity in the user's application, or maybe even like a scheduling or a project management app. What I've created here is a quick little to-do list app. So as you can see here, this is this week's to-dos. We're getting that done, which is nice. And currently for me now, it is the 21st of March, 2023, which is actually the 12th week of the year. So how do we actually calculate this within our bubble application? So let's move over to our bubble editor here and we should start from scratch. What you're gonna to wanna to do is actually just get a text element. So we're gonna drag that from the visual elements and pop it inside of our group here, or you can put it in any part of the page you would like. I'm just gonna quickly format this text to make it look like all the other text I've got on the page. So I'm gonna go over to the layout here. I'm gonna go and horizontally align it to the center. I'm going to uncheck, make this element fixed width, so it hugs our text. If once we've unchecked this box, we could it fit width to content. And then we're going to take out the 200 pixels, so it hugs our text there. We're going to do the same for the height, taking out the 45 required pixels. So now you can see our text box is nice and small. So now we're going to go to our appearance tab. We're going to detach the style. We're going to make our text nice and big. And we're going to make our text white. Perfect. So how we're going to work this out in terms of our dynamic text is we're actually going to first put in the week because our dynamic text is only actually going to display the weeks as a number. So it's not going to actually going to tell us it is a week so we need to do our ourselves we're going to go and insert some dynamic text and we're going to grab the current date and time and we're going to extract which means we're going to remove all the other data and just take a single thing within the current date and time and we have actually got multiple different options for this um, a unit's timestamp is actually from i think 1970 the amount of milliseconds from the point they started or created the units timestamp. So that's a very uh, fine-tuned way of doing the date. But for this example, we just want to do week. And that's what we actually need to do. If we quickly change this to red, so you can see that we've actually made a change and we preview our application, you can see that we are on the 12th week of the year. I hope this quick tutorial has helped you out and good luck on your video. And just like that, you now know how you can calculate and show the current week of the year directly inside your own Bubble app. If you found this video helpful and you wanted to stay up to date with any additional Bubble resources I share, I'd always recommend hitting that subscribe button so that way you can be the first to know whenever I drop a new video. For now though, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I wish you all of the best on your own no-code journey.